ladies and gentlemen i welcome all to my channel today let us see what is meant by revocation of offer what is meant by revocation of acceptance when can we make a revocation how can we make a revocation of such uh, offer and acceptance all these things let us see today in this video you know very well what is meant by offer <coughs> section 2a of the indian contract act defines proposal which says that when a person signifies to another his willingness to do the thing or to abstain from doing any thing with a view to obtain the assent of the other such act or absistance said to be the proposal or is called as the proposal is also otherwise called as offer so supposing a service provider offer to give his service to another or a trader wanted to sell his product to another such type of offer to provide his service or to to give his to sell his product with a view to get the assent of the other is called proposal or it is also called as offer we have already seen that when an offer is made and it is accepted by the other party it will become a conclusive contract so once the contract is completed then parties are binding that the the time the, the contract is binding between the parties so they have to comply their obligations so supposing a person makes an offer and and at, at a later point of time he wanted to withdraw his offer or he wanted to revoke the offer can he revoke that such offer similarly supposing a person made a acceptance and whether such whether the party who made the acceptance can withdraw his acceptance or revoke his acceptance so the indian contract act stipulates that the offer can be revoked in particular time and the acceptance can also be revoked at a particular time so what is the particular time that is very important so as, as far as the offer is concerned the indian contract act section section 329 deals with the revocation of offer let's say the section 6 says that a revocation a proposal can be revoked by a communication of notice of revocation by a proposer to the other party or by lapse of time prescribed in such proposal for such acceptance or if no such time is prepared by the lapse of a reasonable time without communication of acceptance or by the failure of the acceptor to fulfill a condition precedent to the acceptance or by the death or insanity of the proposer the offer can be if the fact of the death or insanity comes to the knowledge of the acceptor before acceptance then the offer in such circumstances the offer can be revoked in such methods prescribed under section 6 of the act so as far as the uh, so there are four methods are mentioned in the indian section act for the revocation of uh, offer that is by issuing a notice or by by, uh, by the lapse of time or by the failure of the acceptor to fulfill the condition or when the death or insanity of the proposer and such death or insanity known he came to the knowledge of the acceptor before his death or insanity so in on these four circumstances the offer can be revoked so for the first one the by notice one uh, offer can be revoked but 
such notice when when can we issue a notice so the section 5 and 61 say, says a proposal can be revoked by the communication of not notice of revocation by the proposal of the other party at any time before the communication of acceptance is complete as against the proposer so the offer can be revoked before the communication of the acceptance is complete as against the proposer now the question will arise what is mean by the communication of acceptance as against the proposer so the section says that uh, it also defines but i wanted to give a small example through which i will, i would like to explain the thing supposing a person from chennai gives an offer to to a buyer in mumbai and the mumbai buyer accepts the offer and drops the letter so when when he drops the letter the letter goes out of his reach so once he drops the letter the acceptance is complete as against the proposer so therefore he cannot once the offer is accepted and it is dropped in by way of letter or anything uh, and uh, uh, anything may after acceptance is made which is gone beyond the control of the acceptor supposing he sent a letter or a telegram or email and when he is posted the immediately the communication of acceptance is complete as against the proposal so thereafter he cannot revoke as as far as the acceptance is concerned the law says that the yeah, acceptance can can complete as against the once the once the communication of acceptance is complete as against the acceptor so uh, what is meant by the communication of uh, acceptance com uh, acts as uh, is complete as against the acceptor so in the similar case once the mumbai buyer drops the letter the communication of acceptance is complete as against the proposer but it is not complete as against the acceptor so once he sent a drops a letter the next day he feels that he would not want to continue the contract he would not want to make a contract he wanted to cancel the contract means immediately he sent a telegram before the letter reaches the chennai trader so in this case supposing the uh, uh, the mumbai buyer drops a letter on first day of january and and it reaches the chennai buyer a uh, chennai trader by 3rd of january in the meantime on second day the M mumbai buyer sent a telegram or make a phone call or email and sent a, sent a communication that i i am revoking the acceptance then this revocation case is valid because the revocation of the acceptance of the offer is not complete as against the acceptor it will be complete only when it reaches in the hands of the chennai proposer so this is the law as as far as the communication of offer is concerned it can be revoked any time before the acceptance of before the before the communication of the acceptance is complete as against the proposer as far as the acceptance is concerned it can be our acceptance can be revoked at any time before the acceptance of is complete as against the acceptor so as far as the communication of uh, acceptance will be complete as against the proposer when the when uh, when, the, when the acceptance is gone out of the hands of the acceptor but such acceptance is complete as against the acceptor when it reaches in the hands of the proposer this is the law so as far as the revocation is concerned revocation of offer is concerned it can be revoked by notice or by lapse of time lapse of time means supposing the uh, buyer says uh, so seller says that if you want to accept the uh, make an offer you have to give, uh, accept it within 3 days in business uh, in business you may see sometimes the price will be uh, varying uh, in one or two days or within a week 
Suppose if a person makes an uh, central offer in first day of January and waits till 15th, this is around 15th, uh, on 15th January, if the price is goes double or triple, so he may not be in a position to uh, give the you the product at the for the price specified in the uh, offer letter. So in such types of circumstances, you may specifically say. So I am giving this offer. This offer is valid only for three days. If within three days you will have to accept this. So in that case, in the, in the, if the acceptance is made within three days, then a com completed contract will be uh, formed. Or otherwise, if the acceptance is not made, acceptance is made within three days. It is if it is made in fourth day or sixth day, then it cannot. It will not make a valid contract. So in business people may whenever they are quoting that uh, price, they may say this price is valid only for one day or two day or three day, whatever it may be. So thereafter, then then in that case, if you, uh, in that case, if if you, if, you, if, you, if you make an offer in first January and the, the March month, if he come and approach you, sir, you have given an offer for this price, and you give the product like that, if he if he make a demand. If you put a condition like this, it is to be observed within three days, then he cannot make such a demand and it will not become a binding contract between you and you will, there will not be any obligation on you to sell the product at the particular price which is quoted in the original uh, offer. So that is the lapse of, uh, the, offer, the offer can be like, uh, revoked by lapse of time. Then another thing is by conditions. Supposing the uh, seller gives a condition. I am uh, quoting this offer today. You will have to confirm it by today by mail or by letter, or you can may say you can put it at advance or you can deposit 50% of the amount like within one day. Like that, if you put any condition, so such a if such a condition is not fulfilled within the particular time, in that case, so in that circumstance, the offer will also automatically lapse. It will be revoked automatically. Uh, on the on the date of completion uh, on the date of on the, uh, no, uh, on the date of completion of the specific time or conditions mentioned in the offer. Now another thing is death or insanity of the uh, offer offerer uh, when it is comes to the knowledge of the acceptor before acceptance. So supposing if a person makes an offer today. And the other person makes an acceptance and it is completed on the second day. After three days, suppose the offerer dies, then the, the contract will be binding on the legal hairs of the uh, offerer. So the death or insanity of the offerer will, uh, will, revoke, the con 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 will revoke the offer only when such death or insanity happens before the acceptance of the uh, acceptance is uh, complete uh, and uh, when, uh, when the, the de death or insanity comes to the knowledge of the acceptor before acceptance. So supposing I may I, I accept the offer today and, and I uh, supposing A makes an offer to B, A, die, uh, uh, A dies second day. Uh, then the, the second day also B also accept the uh, accept the offer, but B do not know the uh, um, do not know the death uh, do not uh, don't know, know about the death of this uh, A. So in that case the offer is complete. So the Allah which says that if the fact of death or insanity comes to the knowledge before acceptance, so the knowledge of the death or uh, uh, insanity has to reach the acceptor before his he, he, uh, before acceptance then only you can say that the such um, offer is revoked through uh, under this class similarly as far as acceptance is concerned uh, the law says that it can be our revoked acceptance can be revoked by communication of notice or by uh, by granting uh, time of acceptance. Supposing uh, an acceptance of offer creates a legal relationship between the offer and offeree, if the offer coupled with a promise to it is to be open at a particular time, so the, the, if the time is specified, such offer can be revoked even before the time. The offeree can refuse the offer at any time before the time fixed. So, as far as the uh, 
acceptance is acceptance is concerned it can be revoked by communication of by, 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 by making a communication letter of accept uh, revocation of revocation of acceptance then um, um, by death or insanity uh, what is uh, um, already spoken about uh, about this of, uh, revocation of offer so this is the this is the things which we have covered today so let us uh, see one by one uh, about the contract act so the i request the students uh, who watch this video to give your comments and also to share the videos to your friends if it is really worth to uh, the others uh, now i uh, now, now i am taking uh, various uh, subjects of uh, various topics of uh, come comes under the contract act if it is really useful to the students uh, I, uh, and i also request you the students to give your comments which will help me to improve my lectures about this uh, subjects uh, we have two channels rasiak lal uh, tube and rasiak satamarivo one is in tamil one is in english the students and the public may watch my videos and enrich your knowledge thank you goodbye